Hello there, huge day today. Um, I've said the entire season, even when we beat Man United and we're eight points clear, I said it. We cannot maintain a title challenge the whole season. We haven't got what it takes. We haven't got enough experience. We haven't got enough in our, enough depth in our squad. And it's in our history as well to uh, not make it all the way, especially in the late Wenger days. But regardless, uh, we got to think more positively. Man City still need to lose two games. Um, that's the big thing. It probably won't happen. Let's just be realistic there. But all we can do is win all our games. And today... Man City have got Everton away, and we've got Bryson at home. Two tough fixtures. Everton obviously have been awful all season, but last week they beat Bryson 5-1 away, which was a ridiculous upset. And Bryson have had a great season, and they could still make Europe, so they'll bring their A game today. But because of Everton's 5-1 performance, I'm kind of hoping that maybe they can do us a favour, uh, because if they beat Man City and we can beat Brighton, then there's hope. But still, even if City lose today and win all their games after this, they still win the league. But a loss for City gives us hope. So they're playing in about an hour, to, an hour from now as I'm recording this. They start at 2 o'clock and at 4.30 Arsenal play Brighton. So it could be a great day. Uh, it could be a hope-inspiring uh, day because Man City have still got to play Brighton away and Brentford away. They got Chelsea next week. You would assume they'd win win that game, but I guess you never know. Chelsea have thrown some spanners in the works before in title races, but I don't expect it from them. But yeah, City have got three away games, one home game, and we've got Brighton today, which will be tough, and Forest away next week. Forest are fighting for relegation. Fighting for survival from relegation. They want to survive, so that's going to be tough away from home, and then Wolves at home on the last day. All we can do is try and win, but we've got two tough games. We've got this and Nottingham Forest away. Both will be tough. We just got to do our best. If we don't win the league, we don't win the league. You know, it's our own fault. We couldn't beat Southampton or Homer away. We couldn't beat West Ham. But that's, that's a different discussion, all right? Let's be positive. I believe we can beat Brighton today, but it'll be very tough. But if Everton can also beat Man City, what a day this could be. Let's get to the Emirates. Famous Collington is ready to go. Past like 20 police vans. <laughs> They're ready. The police are ready as well. And here we are. I love the new art they did, man. It makes it look even better. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Sitting in Turnstile D, which is on the other side. We're normally doing my intros and outros, actually, at the end. Uh, find some food somewhere that I'm going to get over there. Yeah, it's my last home game of the season. I'm not going to the Wolves game because I'm on holiday. You know, I've not missed the last home game. I've gone to every Arsenal last home game of the season since 2012. So 2011 was the last one I missed. Since 2012, every single year, I've been attending the last home game of the season for Arsenal. That's when I'm missing, because I'm going on holiday. It's just the timing of it. It's just, I, I knew we were playing that weekend. It's just that it's a bank holiday weekend. I had, that, I had the holiday allowance to get away. It's life too short, isn't it? You just got to travel sometimes. And it was the perfect weekend to travel. It just happened to be the same weekend where Arsenal were playing the last home game. It is what it is. Right there is my name engraved. Yeah, it's in the corner with Thierry Henry and with this particular banner because it's representing fans from all around the world. It's just perfect placement. There are personal reasons why I don't use my actual name on that board. There's actually personal reasons. And the next best thing is my YouTube name. So that's why I put it. It wasn't promo. It was just a personal reason why it wasn't my actual name. But I am called David. That I can confirm. That is my name. I am David, believe it or not. It's a birth name. It's on the birth certificate and the passport. I have two first names. I got one Sri Lankan first name and one English one. The more you know. Listen, uh, I think it's half time in the other game. It is 2 0 to Manchester City. And I think they've dominated that game as well, as far as I've heard other people talking. It is 2 0 Man City. Um, Chelsea home, Brighton away, Brentford away. They won't lose two. They'll beat Chelsea to beat Brentford, all right? Now the hope is gone. I would have had hope after if they lost to Everton, but it's not happening. A, a small amount of hope, but hope. My turn starts over there, I walked past it. Um, and there's Mr. Arsenal himself, Tony Adams. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, I think the hope is gone now. So all I'm hoping for is to win the last three games of the season. You know, just finish strong. We've got second place. Win the last three games, you know, just secure second place and we'll be all right. Well, it won't be all right, because we'll be regretting not beating Southampton or West Ham or Everton. But um, 
yeah, it's a season of what could have been. But all we can do now is win the rest of our games. And a win today would be nice. Here is my view. Magnificent, right? I'm in row two of the upper tier. So right at the almost not right at the front, but almost right at the front. I kind of done like heights anyway. So like row two upper tier is perfect. I'll have a great view, don't like heights. Row two. There you go, 54 quid does cost, if you wanted to know. There's someone watching the game. A few seats there next to me. I'm listening to it. 3 0, and see. Why did I even have to open that? Like, Everton, really? I just thought, you know, they're fighting relegation, just won 5 1, mate. No. Still want to win today. Let's win. Today was my word. What do you think? Man City to lose three games? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, 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 not, I'm not that delusional or optimistic. Yeah, uh, there's a woman standing behind me that was ranting. She summed it up perfectly. There was no fight today. Uh, Brighton fully deserved the win. You know, um, first half, 
Martinelli got injured after that Trossard came on, Trossard hit the post. And that's all he did. No, hit the crossbar, sorry. But that's all he did in the first half. That's the only chance, really. Brighton had a good chance. So that Ramsdale saved it. Not much happened in the first half, to be honest, apart from that. But Brighton was still better in the first half. It was nil-nil, though. I thought we'd come out in the second half, but we had a few chances here and there. Didn't do much of our chances, though. You know, when we got our shooting opportunities, weren't very good shots. And there weren't many of them, to be honest. We just didn't, we didn't turn up. It's like, there's two, there's a couple occasions this season where I thought this team has lost this fight. Uh, once in February, we were, we were eight points clear. Then we lost to Everton, drew, drew against Brentford, and then lost to City 3-0, 3-1 at home. During that time, we just didn't play well in any of three games. I just thought, this team has just lost it. We came back from that, you know. We beat Villa 4-2 away and then went on a good run. Then again it happened. Liverpool, Anfield, 2-0 up, 2-2. West Ham, same thing. Southampton, 3-3. Then we lost to City 4-1. Lost our confidence in those games as well. And I, but we beat Newcastle last week. Newcastle away, 2-0. Great win. You know, probably our best win of the season last week. It was brilliant. Great performance. So I thought, yes, you know, we, we got a fire back. Confidence and drive we had to be top of the league all this time. It felt like the spark was back last week after beating Newcastle. But that was... That, that, that was false. Today we came out, no fight at all, you know. Um, against West Ham and Liverpool, the games I mentioned, yeah, we were poor, but we had a good first half. We controlled the game at one point. We just choked it. We were overconfident. Southampton, we gave the ball away. We went two, two goals down twice, but we still fought back. Yes, we drew, and yes, it was a bad result still, but we still fought back. There was still at least some fight in the team on, in that game. Today, there was no fight at all. Uh, it was just, it was ridiculous, terrible, the entire bloody game. There was nothing there, there was no good passing. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what positive there is. Nelson came on, he had a shot, just wide. That's the best thing I can think of, honestly. And apparently Nelson wants to leave as well, it's a shame, because he's the one of the players that's come on, every time he's come on, no matter what game, he's always showed something. And yeah, he's, he's not in, good enough to be a starter, I don't think, but whenever he has featured for us, he's done all right. Um, that's the only positive today, really. No, no one's played well, no one. Not Saka, not Odegaard, our two best players this season. Martinelli off injured, didn't help, obviously. But at the end of the day, no excuses. Brighton deserved the win, so... It is what it is. I'm just got it, you know. I spent weeks refreshing the ticket page on Arsenal's website for this. <laughs> 54 pounds, just gone. Just, just gone just like that because of this um, but yeah I'll be back today all over again next season hopefully we sign big in the summer because we really need to in midfield uh, we need a new striker another winger a fullback um, yeah we need quite a lot actually um, at least four or five players hopefully but uh, yeah I'm gonna head head uh, head back home now uh, I'm just so deflated by this game um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm so tired, man. And I don't mean tired as in sleepy, I mean tired as in I'm tired of this right now. I'm glad it's my last game, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I'll be back next season, refreshed, and hopefully we'll be better, even better, hopefully, please. Please, don't, don't, don't be a one-off, please. See you later.